Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Thursday, February the 22nd and our devotions are coming from the Bible Promise Book Devotional for Women. I wanted to give a great big um, congratulations to my sister-in-law, Patty, who got married yesterday to David. Congratulations, you two. I wish you many years of wedded bliss. Okay. Now, our uh, devotion, this is week eight of the year 2024. Our focus for the week is mercy, and our devotion today is entitled, Slow to Anger. Our scripture comes from the book of Psalm 86, verse 15, out of the New American Standard Bible, and it reads, But you, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abundant in loving kindness and truth. All right, let's get into this. God's character reveals that being slow to anger goes hand in hand with being merciful. What a blessing that he's not quick to get mad, but is abundant in loving kindness. If God were easily angered, imagine how upset he would constantly be with you and your sins. Thank you, Jesus, that you're slow to anger. When a difficult situation arises or someone frustrates or wrongs you, take a deep breath, literally, take a deep breath, count to 10 or do whatever you need to do to hinder the anger rising in you. Ecclesiastes 7.9 out of the NIV says, Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. Again with the hiccups, I don't know why. Anger resides in the lap of fools. I don't want to be a fool, so... And James 1, 19 through 20 out of the NIV says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Human anger. Okay, Lord have mercy and help us. As you work to control anger, think about mistakes you have made and be grateful that God has been slow to anger with you. Pray and thank God and then extend that same kind of mercy to others, remembering that Proverbs 19.11 out of the New American Standard Bible says, A man's discretion makes him slow to anger and it is his glory to overlook a transgression. Let's pray. We all need this. Lord, we thank you that you are merciful to us and slow to anger because our temper is usually controlled. But I know there have been situations where we have snapped and lashed out at others at times. Help us to understand why we do this, what triggers it, and learn how to control that. To display the fruit of the spirit of self-control. Help us, Lord. We need your help for this. We need you to intervene. We thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and your merciful uh, ways, Father. Your mercies are new every morning, and we give you the glory for it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and thank you so much for dropping by my channel. I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell, and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. Um, we had a wonderful time yesterday. I did with my friends, Janet and Terry, um, you know, just hanging around and enjoying each other's company and having dinner together and a little bit more of that today. And then uh, a little bit more of that today. And then I'll be heading back tomorrow morning. I am hoping I may be doing my devotion after I return home because I plan to leave super early. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless you and bye until next time.